Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we are covering the PBX, the SMG with actually the fastest TTK in the game and maybe even the fastest TTK from all weapons overall that don't one-shot you. But what do you get with the SMG? Well, first of all, you get the fastest TTK, as I just said. You kill even faster than with the AC-9. You also get super low recoil, a decent magazine size, but your only trade-off is that the gun is quite inaccurate over range. You unlock this gun by just being level 1 since it's the starter SMG for the game. Before we get into the numbers like we usually do, first of all I want to say I made a mistake. All the background gameplay you are seeing is with the standard issue ammo type, but that's actually not the best ammo in the game. And I didn't really notice before I actually started writing the script for this guide, since I don't really look at numbers for the guns outside of actually making the guide so i choose the wrong ammo but the gun still shreds people as you can see in their gameplay but yeah short disclaimer the gun wasn't used optimally in the background footage but let's get into some numbers as per usual we start with the ammo types we have close combat ammo standard issue high power and subsonic but we will only focus on close quarters and standard issue since they have the fastest ttk and the highest magazine size let's talk magazine size first get 35 rounds in a close quarters magazine and 40 in the standard issue so i would usually advise you to use the standard issue since you have more ammo and you usually also have a better range with standard issue but for some reason that's not the case with the pbx with the pbx not only do you get a faster ttk when you equip the close combat ammo but for some reason you also get way more range than with the standard issues ttk for whatever reason but what ttk do we now actually get well we get a ttk of 200 milliseconds to the body up to 19 meters with close combat ammo but it's just insane it's even faster than the vhx just for comparison so you already know the pbx threats and for standard issue we not only get a worse ttk we only get 223 milliseconds that's still very fast and still the best ttk in the smg class paired with the ac9 ttk but the problem here is we only get this ttk up to 9 meters meaning our slower ttk compared to the close combat ammo also only lasts for half the range we get with the close combat so honestly i was literally handicapping myself in the background gameplay the whole time and i still got so many kills so the gun is really good but other than a high ttk you also get a decently fast reload especially with close combat ammo of 2.07 seconds when you do a tactical reload meaning you have at least one bullet left in the chamber and 2.53 seconds when empty what is quite fast while with standard issue you only get a 2.51 millisecond tactical reload and you need a whole 3.1 seconds when you are empty what is just criminal especially for an smg that's supposed to be used really close quarters as for headshots you literally deal no damage as always since we only get a 1.25 multiplier and in fact you will need to hit three headshots in a row to kill the enemy in three shots instead of the normal four you need for the body so it's definitely not worth it as for recoil the gun basically has none so you can go all, all in on accuracy attachments what is really needed with the gun since i find on range you miss a lot of shots even if you are perfectly centered on the enemy at least from my experience so with all of the stats out of the way let's get into some attachments as always Always, you will find nothing surprising when it comes to attachments we use the fusion holo in our side category since there's no reason to use a larger zoom optic when you are playing really close quarters with the gun as for magazines close combat please run close combat and don't make the same mistake i did where i put standard issue in the first spot so close combat then standard issue extended as your second mag and then normal standard issue as your last as for grips I run the BCG light grip as always for the increased accuracy. You could also use the MGI laser sight or the normal laser sight but I think accuracy is more important and I also think the hip fire on this gun is really great even without those attachments. The only other viable options would be the LVG grip but for some reason I don't think it's really necessary on the gun. And for muzzles obviously we want the tactical compensator as always and the rep suppressor in the second spot. I actually use the rep suppressor quite a lot on this gun since you have to get really close anyways the decrease in accuracy you have while not running the tactical compensator you don't really feel it so just go with the rip suppressor as for your specialists i actually think since it's a close quarters gun you should run the gun on specialists that's very aggressive so meaning assault class or support class but i recently started playing pike i will also make a video about her in the future since i think she's just broken and honestly pbx suppressor smoke grenades and warlock from pike you can dominate the redacted lobby i just got my 
first 200 kill game in Battlefield while running Pike with the PBX. So it's just a broken combo. If you want to have a lot of fun, get a lot of kills, use PBX, put on the suppressor, play Pike, throw your smoke grenades, use the warlock, and you will delete the whole lobby. But in this case, I would advise you as a secondary go with the G57 instead of the Deagle since you want the hip fire and more ammo. Now, in conclusion, do I recommend this gun? Absolutely. The gun is super strong. I don't know why I didn't start using the gun earlier. I just tier one it and then never used it again. I have no clue why the gun is super OP, very low recoil. You get such a high TTK. Honestly, if you want to farm a, your KD on like Redacted, I would actually think the PBX is better than the VHX. Of course, we did with the VHX, you get like a nice headshot multiplier. But currently, if you're just buddy shooting, you add Pike into the mix, like the PBX just slaps. You should definitely try it. If you didn't play the gun or you just use it, as a data SMG and then you defaulted to like the PP29 like I did and a lot of other people did once they unlocked the gun. Yeah, you definitely need to go back, use the gun, level it up a bit, slap on the close quarters ammo, accuracy attachments or the suppressor and just go M. It's literally free farming. But yeah, that's all I have to say to the gun. There isn't really a lot to talk about since the gun is just super strong. Everybody should use it. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like and subscribing for more guides and better content in the future. As always, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.